Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we are going to continue creating some text, some dynamic text, and we're going to create the dynamic text that offers a comparison between the current value and the target value and how far off the target we actually are. So we need to go and create three new measures. Okay, so one's going to be for medium, one's going to be for low, and one is going to be for the total number of defects. So we'll look at the previous measure that we're using or the current measure we're using here, high risk. And it's basically just going to be a copy of this with a few variables changed. So let's go and create a new one. And we'll paste that in. And this is going to be the one for medium risk. Medium risk. So what we're going to change. So the things we're going to change are going to be the we could probably actually change some of this and make it a bit easier on ourselves. So this is going to be the medium risk. Um, we're going to call this rather than call it high risk, we're just going to call it risk target. And because it's these variables are just used within the TW risk, okay, we need to get rid of this, are just used within within this measure here, so they can actually just be quite generic. Um, so yeah, we're going to go, first of all, define what the measure is, define what the target is. So the target for this example here is uh, 250. Then we're going to look and get the difference between the current risk and the target. So current weak risk and the risk target. So a difference between what we've currently got and what the target is. Next, we're going to go and use that to determine what the actual um, the, the text is going to say. Is it going to be equal to? Is it going to be below? Is it going to be above? So we've gone through this before. Then we're going to start to construct the the text that actually tells us the difference between the current value and the target. Now, if it's not on target, if it's below or above the target, then we are going to say that it is by and then the target difference. If it's equal to the target, then we won't put any text in that um, in that part of the actual string, which is here. So we can see that text compare is, um, is at the end there. If we're on target, so if the value is 250 and it is 250, then we don't, there's no difference. It's zero, so we can just ignore that part of the, or omit that part of the text. And then the next thing we need to do is just update these here and update uh, this here. And that should all work nicely. So let's see. So I'm going to copy this button here. Here we go, it pasted that time. And in here, we're going to go to the conditional formatting here. And rather than choose high risk, we're going to go in here. In fact, we can just search for it text medium risk. Right, and let's see if that works. So the current value of 285, so that is the current value there is above the target of 200 by 35. Okay, so that's calculating it nicely. And let's go, while we're here, we'll just copy that and we'll paste it into here. And we'll paste it into here. So we need to go and create two new measures, another one for low and another one for the total. So I will go and do that and then we will talk through what I've done. Okay, so I've copied and pasted the text text in here. I've changed that to low. Now the only thing I need to change here are two things, is the value we are comparing. So it's going to be low risk. And the actual value of the target, which is going to be the five, uh, 450. And everything else, because these variables are all used within here, we don't need to worry about these. And it all just works, hopefully. Yep.
and then what we will do is minimize that, go in here, open this up, and rather than medium risk, we're going to go and search for a low. And we'll put low risk in, and that's worked nicely. And then we'll just create a final one, which is going to be for the total. I was going to go and just do this and then come back, but I think because it's um, total risk, I think we just, um, it's so quick to do it. So that's just going to be the total for the current week, and then this value here is going to be 700. And let's just, um, so 700 is the 250 plus the 450. And we'll go in here, replace this with the oh, a little bit too fast there total risk current week versus target okay so we can see that is all looking as if it's working nicely these are all red um, we will go in and actually maybe sort of play with the targets just to make them a lot make sure that these are actually some other colour other than red so let's just do that for the, I think what I'll do is I'll reduce this target and increase this one. So to do that, we just need to um, go into the conditional format here, post mitigation risk, which is this one here, if I can remember rightly. Yeah, okay, so let's make, let's reduce that by... Let's make that 50, and let's make that one, we'll make that 150, 150, and we'll make that one 550. Okay, and that still equates to 700, 600, 700, yep. Now just making that one change, we should see, yep, this one is now gone. Now, the other thing we need to do, this is unfortunate, this is where we need to probably start putting things in a central location in terms of targets, is go and change the targets in, in these two as well. So let's go back and we will go into our target value here, our target text, and we find that the low risk, we need to make sure that goes up to 650. Uh, sorry, 550. And we'll find the medium risk and we'll take that down to 150 rather than 250. It just keeps everything the, the same. So, it's all starting to come together now. So let's just take stock of what we've done here. So just now we've got our we can we can format this to make it look a little bit more aligned, etc. But the the idea is we've got something that draws our attention to the fact there's a, the, there's an issue here. The current value of two is above the target of zero by two. This one here is fine. The current value of five hundred is below the target of seventy five by ah okay minus forty seven. So we need to sort that out. But we've done it in the past. I'll just quickly show you how to do it for one of these, and then I'll do it for the other ones and. Um, the, what we're going to do there is go into this lowest target and in here the comparison is actually going to be wrapped with, within an abs so that just basically takes takes away the um, the negative if it is a negative Uh, it never showed up, but I know what's happened here. This is uh, an actual text field, so I've done this too late. Where it needs to go is in here, this difference calculation. So we'll make that um, uh, an abs. So it just shows you the benefit of actually doing a little bit of testing. Hopefully that will work this time. Yep, 
Okay, so the current value of 503 is below the target of 550 by 47. So this below is a qualifier to tell you if that's a, a negative or a positive number. So we don't need it to have a negative beside it. It doesn't read particularly well in a sentence. So um, yeah, that is exactly what we need. So this is us now almost getting to the point where we've got a kind of completed dashboard here. In the next lesson, we will move forward. We'll format this to make it look a little bit smarter. And then we're going to go and add some targets and or target values onto these graphs here. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you then.